first of all, I'm really honored. I'm grateful. Uh, I uh, basically reflect well on um, what the work that I've done. Um, se second, it basically made me review uh, my innovations. It made me look back at say what was good and what was uh, could have been improved, what could have been, been done better. Um, and um, sec uh, third, basically, um, it encourages me to be an ambassador of the innovative culture to spread this out, um, set the spark uh, with our others even more, um, and uh, spread and be a multiplier of this culture of innovations. Innovation for me um, is um, a detailed process. W what um, you basically um, do is you imagine the solutions a customer could need in the future that he might not even know about himself um, and you come up with ways to solve this, innovative ways to solve this, um, so that customers, our customers basically, will be able to serve their customers um, a lot better. And the, it starts with the um, idea of what is needed. It uh, continues with, um, hey, how do, how do I solve this? But the idea part is the probably the easier part. The more difficult part is uh, to get this into a, a state of a product and finalize this design. Do the marketing for, hey, this is a great idea, um, and then establish support for it, and um, finalize it within a product. Telecommunications is evolving every time. This is total connectivity, seemingly to the end user um, in a way that they uh, can do everything uh, they would probably never have imagined before do in the future. Mean might mean augmented reality, it might mean artificial reality. Um, it holds uh, basically um, future bandwidth needs are going to be tremendous. Um, and all that uh, requires solutions, uh, so, so, uh, requires us to be strong proposer for solutions because what we see is that our customers um, more and more uh, ask us, what do you have um, in order to build their future networks?